Oh yeah. Oh my god. Drake's gone. It's rained about, I don't even know how many inches, but it's rained the last four days straight. So driving a truck and trailer into a field, no bueno. And it's evening time, Monday morning, so we can't kill ponies in North Dakota here. So we're gonna burn a little duck pond. Brooks is pretty pumped up, taking her excited poop. She loves <laughs> water. She, she likes big geese, but water just gets her cracked out for some odd reason, I don't know. She's a water dog at heart. The sun came out this morning for about a good good hour. Now it's gone. I haven't seen the sun in five days. I'd say 70 degrees. We got 400 yard walk back out through this wheat field mm -hmm. here. So we're wearing the deep wades, uninsulated. I just got the light pants under, then the veil, hardcore, half quarter zip. Super warm, it's got a little bit of fleece in there. So if you got a girlfriend or a lady, better hide it from her because she's going to steal it. But bringing about a dozen or so decoys back there. I ain't got a, I forgot my jerk string. So we stopped at the gasser. Fishing line, more on that, you'll see. If y'all are in the market for some new pair of waders and you guys want some tied wee deep wade waders, make sure you guys use code SMACK100 and you can actually save $100 on these bad boys. I think they are going for about $5.99 on their website and uh, they're pretty comparable to like a sheen wader. They're super nice and they got the breathables that me and Dustin used on the wood duck hunt. And Carter's been using his for a while, so this, is, this will be my first time actually using these in the water. So basically what I'm doing here, is I'm just looping this through these holes in the keel here. And then just gonna run a line back to wherever we end up sitting in these cattails here, just to get a little bit of motion in these decoys here. As far as we need her, $3 jerk string. I'm gonna pull on this line, just like a jerk string you'd buy from the store. Didn't have one up here. So I went and bought some fishing line, like you already seen. And how I'm gonna run this thing is just slip her in this little pocket here. Just keep that line whenever ducks are working or flying by. Create that little motion on the water. I like these a lot more than Mojo's personally. I'm shooting. Well, we just had a nice little flurry of uh, action. It's been uh, like 30 minutes since we've seen a duck and uh, we got, before that volley came in, the first group was gadwalls. They came from behind us. And then uh, I think we shot two gadwalls out of there. And then another flock came by, doubled on my last shot. Starting to pick up here. So hopefully it can stay like that for a little while. Yeah, you were walking back and I was like, oh, there's one in front. It was a hen. And I have two drakes down already, so I was like, whatever, I'm just going to grease it. Is that your first duck band? That's my first duck band. I can guess. 2257. It's probably a two, three-year-old mallard. Carter got some BB marks in that band for sure. It's pretty cool, though. Dude, she brought it back and she went like this on the thing, and I was like... So, we were picking up birds. I was on these end cattails. Brooks was going to get a gadwall. We had two gadwalls. And then I look up and a single duck is coming, just ripping. And then swings, I see it's a hen I wasn't gonna shoot. I was like, ah, whatever. Shot it, and I was waiting for it to come back up because I don't think I got a good kill shot on it right away, but I did. But I pumped one more just to be care, uh, just to be safe so Brooke's not swimming all over this pond. And luckily enough, hen band. Why well, you kill hens, boys? Uh, we don't shoot much duck bands up here in North Dakota, so I don't really know where the hell this thing's from, but I'm just gonna guess that it's from, uh, I'm gonna say, man, I don't even know, Manitoba somewhere. I think it's a North Dakota band. We'll, uh, we'll plug the details in once we get back to the truck. Well guys, 
I need to work on my GoProing skills. Heat of the moment, hunting first, content second, but I know you guys want to see everything. We got more ducks working right now, though. Yep, we'll rip these. Kill him, Colin. Two for two, you get yours? Nope. <clears throat> hey, had it on that time, brother. Oh, uh, ugly brown ducks, but boy, do they taste good. Gonna we'll make some duck tacos tonight back at the lodge here. Hmm, he's starting to get a couple weeks. Kill him. Kill him. This is our last hen. We're at our hen limit now. Nice little Susie. So now we got three drakes to pick. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Two drakes gone. I got one drake. I got a drake. Two drakes gone. I got one drake. Yeah, that, that flock got down and dirty pretty quick there. We Colin shot a drake, I shot a drake, Brooks is grabbing drake out there, and we got one more, and we're out of here, boys. Nice little pond hunt here. All right, guys, we got one, one shell in, one duck. Let's see if we can make her happen here. Oh, that was a drake. Mm. Did you shoot it? Dude, it just got yeah, me. I, I know. <laughs> we done. That's a limit, man. Colin thought, didn't have faith, brought me two extra shells. Confidence shells, man. Confident shells. Shout out Ray's Game Totes. This thing is absolutely essential for walking in, dry fields, ponds, anything. Super slick system. You can get all your birds on a rope and then you're walking out. Super well built. Jonathan and Laney. Thanks. You the you the boys. Shout out to the plug. The plug woke. Uh, just like old times, huh? Good old pond hunting. Good job, Brooks. Yeah, we gotta get them ears dry. That water is pretty cold, huh? No Momar stand, she was in standing water the whole hunt. Just a tank. Carter just plugged in the band info. I guessed Winnipeg. I'm not sure where Carter's guess is. I said North Dakota, I was wrong. Yeah? It was near Pigeon, Huron County, Michigan. It was Michigan. banded, well hatched in 2021 got strapped up on 9-8 of 2022 and as you guys can tell it was a hen. Carter's first Mally band. Michigan. Sweet sweet. All right well as you can see we got a nice little stringer some mallards two gadwalls so we're gonna go back we're gonna flame them all up get them all clean and then we're gonna make some duck tacos. And there's this uh, ranch Colin found it before so I can't take any of the credit it's like a, what do you mean it's? Ortega Ranch, that one? It's the- Baja Ranch? The, not the Baja Ranch, the big bottle. You'll see it at the place. But anyways, Colin found it, it's straight fire. Like, I don't even get taco sauce anymore. Damn, like, hold on. Dude! We're gonna put these back in. I'm surprised I haven't lost these yet. I'm really good at losing things, but I just keep them and tie. And then I don't lose them. And let me tell you, last year, well, Ever since I really started hunting, I never really wore hearing protection. And I used to get headaches, especially a lot last year guiding. No headaches. No headaches. Glorious. Well, boys, Lil Red is here. Tanner the man. Sheesh! There's some gas. Chef Carter. What do we got for utensils? Ooh. Ooh, we didn't know about that. 
smasher down. Definitely not what it's used for, but. See, Carter's got bananas, muffins, some takis, rice, and uh, just a couple seasonings. No sodies. Fresh today. Fried rice. John Raymond. Mr. Pizza's kind of lazy and don't want to cook. Dude, that's for the coffee in the morning. Dude, you guys need to hurry up, dude. It's about to be mowing here. Little trick 90 seconds microwave. Gas. Costco. Try to confirm. I was talking about earlier. Taco Ranch. Can confirm again. It's pretty good. Sheesh. All right, well, that's about all we got. I'm going to shove my face full of these duck tacos. And I'm going to take these boys hunting in the morning. Nate's hiding behind the couch. There he is. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.